without an online presence. On the Horde. On the Horde.com. Start the rooster. Hey, uh, Dave, the one thing that keep, people keep telling me is that we have to turn up the volume for the other mics because the mics, uh, they're not, they can't hear it on the uh, computer. Okay. So we got to really crank the volume on that. Working on that, babe. All right, babe. Oh, we're babe mood tonight. I like the blue tie, blue stripes. Woo! Yeah. Kicking butt and taking names. I love that. And then we got Jen. Are you kicking butt? Yeah. All right. <laughs> are we live? We are on air. We are on air. Well, let's hear the rooster and let's get this thing kicked off. That, 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 okay, fine. I'll do it again. <laughs> I didn't hear the rooster. <laughs> now we're talking. That's our rooster, folks. Intro. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Wine, Talk, and Food. We are brought to you by Gateway Financial, Sherpa Technologies, Deepwater Seafood of Avon, uh, let's see, Bud Woods and Meyer Jack send its travel, and we have Chris Didden as your guest, as your host. A guest? Sorry. I'm a guest. Sorry. Well, you know, I, I feel like a guest tonight. All right. Okay, who's had a bunch of wine tonight? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hands. Nada. <laughs> Brian, I'm clean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that very much. Uh, you guys ran over on my show, dude. You don't tell the majority leader of the House of Representatives, you got to go. Well, I'm hosting a fundraiser for Johnny Larson on Friday at Two Hopewell, and I can tell him to go. Well, you can tell and John Larson just about anything if you're raising money for him. <laughs> Pardon? Ah, you want to host a fundraiser for him, too? You know I'm a Republican, right? <laughs> Johnny's... <laughs> Johnny's an old friend of mine, so, uh, but that's okay. Actually, most of my friends are Democrats. You need to meet a Representative Sharkey okay. because he is a very interesting person to actually talk to. Okay. He, he doesn't sound like your typical politician. Let's just put it What that does way. a typical politician sound like? Can blah, you hear yourself? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, Dang. you know, and tonight I thought I was going to be, you know, very, you know, crisp and clean and, you know, very, you know, sincere because we're having sincere wine. But, you know, Ooh. I guess the, the gloves are off and we're just going to have some fun. Insert sharp object here. <laughs> Please don't. That hurts. <laughs> no, seriously. We, we, who else do we have tonight? Well, actually, we have Dave on the, who's producing us tonight and he's wearing all blue, you know, which... Does that mean it's a power? It, you know, you used to think power was it was like the color was red. It was, but it was too much uh, walking in front of bulls and getting gored. So blue became the, the cold uh, power. The cold power. Yes. Okay, time for another haircut, dude, too. You know. <laughs> hey, I, gloves came off, so, you know, I thought I was going to be nice I tonight. wasn't. <laughs> I didn't do anything with sharp objects. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, on my left, we, we have the fabulous bartender extraordinaire from uh, Black Eyed Sally's, Brian Lee. Welcome, Brian. How y'all doing? He's, our, he's one of our special guest stars because uh, we have to have guests on the show because, yes. uh, you know, I can't do this by ourselves. By ourselves? By myself? No. no. Split personality. So I guess, split, you know, it could be the ego thing going on. I have no clue. <laughs> We're going to our right here. We've got Elliot Thomas from Sonoma Fine Wines and Spirits, one of the best package stores in, in Glastonbury, actually in Connecticut. If you ever want to know about a wine... You ever want to know about a booze? Talk to Elliot because if I don't know, I'll make it up. <laughs> and now well, that's a politician. <laughs> now, there you go. But 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 actually, Elliot has one I of the one of, <laughs> Elliot has one of the better palates that I know uh, of, of of either fine wine or booze. Uh, you know, I've tried a bunch of them with him and, uh, over the past year, but I've also tried them in his store, and he's never steered me wrong. So if you ever want to go to you know get a bottle and you ever need one for a present or something like that. Go to Sonoma Fine Wines, Elliot Thomas, he's your guy. And then we have the fabulous Paul Winter. You know, he doesn't look like Edgar and he doesn't look like Johnny, you know, because he doesn't have the hair, I don't think. But I, I might look like the Paul Winter. He does look like the Paul Winter. Yes. A lot, which is me. Which is you. <laughs> <laughs> now, minor, minor details. <laughs> well, well, Paul, Paul's an Englishman, but, you know, uh, English is uh, the English, the English, the English are right across the pond from the French. And tonight we're going to talk about Sincere Wines, which we are. 
We're, we're going to explore what their whites are. We're going to explore a serious wine. Apparently, this you know, Sancerre is a serious wine. I don't like serious. So, uh, so we got to figure this out. Sancerre is serious. You know, that kind of works out, I think. Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. But he was across the pond, so he's probably had the most experience drinking Sancerre wine. No. Sancerre. Sancerre. <laughs> and then we have Jen over there, over in the corner, who's just going to sample and just have fun, right? And Sancerre is my absolute favorite white wine. Oh, Sancerre? Okay, well, we're going to test you tonight. You know that, right? Yeah, I guess so. This could be a lot of fun. But I want to I want to also talk about a little bit about uh, our last week's show cuz uh I got a lot of feedback on our last week's show. We we had handcrafted beers. Uh we had Mike or Tom Lynch, choose your name, it doesn't really matter. It's definitely Mike. <laughs> it's definitely Mike. It's definitely Mike. And what brewery's from? Lost Elm Brewing. Lost Elm. I mm -hmm. think I put Old Elm in my, my thing. but uh... You did, but we still shared the video as much as we could. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get fixed eventually. Uh, Mike and Tom were, were both, you know, Mike and Tom were both very good guests. So it worked out very well for us. And we, and we really appreciate him back. And actually, we're going to have him back a lot more often because we're going to do a handcrafted beer show once a, once a month now because uh, – we're going to try and get me to experience what beer is really like and, and what I like in beer and because I'm not really a beer drinker. So we're going to try it out and see what happens. And um, last week we brought, uh, brought a bunch of weird stuff, and some of them didn't stick as well as I thought. The chocolate beer stuck like, like well, glue. i yeah. got to tell you, the chocolate beer last week, if, if none of you have had it, it was it Old Steiner or something like that? Southern Tier Brewing. Okay, I was of, close. Uh, I was close, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah very enough? close. Okay, Southern uh, Tier out of, out of Lakewood, New York, uh, the far end of New York, okay. and they do a lot of Imperial stuff. The chocolate is my, my personal favorite from theirs. i got to tell you, if, if, if you ever get a chance out there, buy this chocolate beer, buy a bottle, because you're probably going to want more than that to try. But if you want to have it for a dessert wine, or dessert, calling it dessert wine, because it really tasted like a dessert wine. Yeah, absolutely. Um, or you can have it before or, or during or whatever. You know, I might even put that in some recipes. You know, yeah, some, actually, some cooking recipes. Yeah, um, actually, Tasha was talking about making some cupcakes for us, but we had only one case of the chocolate, and I set it aside for you. So when she stopped by the store, all she got was sparkling wine for sparkling wine cupcakes. <laughs> well, we're having a sincere night, so white goes white to white. White works better, you know, absolutely. Works better. Tasha, thank you very, very much. We appreciate you trying that. Uh, maybe I will give you a bottle or two, and uh, maybe you can make them for us next, or the next handcrafted beer thing. By the way, um, last week we had a fair amount of interaction with the chat room. Um, Weren't able to get the chat room up tonight. Just saying. I got it up. You got I'm it up? up? Yeah. I, I never turned it off last week. If you And Elliot, so you know, if you don't log out, it'll keep it up. All right. So you're, Very obviously awesome. you'll, turn, you'll turn yours off, but if I don't, right. turn, if I don't log out or turn it off, yep. it's fine. So, All right. Awesome. So, so we're going to go with Brian here on the chat room. Absolutely. Uh, P.S. Brian on the other end, we still don't have a screen in front of us. We'd like to see that screen with the chat room up. ASAP, please. Tasha says you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully that was Brian saying you're welcome at the same time. Yeah. Okay, anybody <laughs> wants to call in, please call us at 860-264-4. Nope, 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 nope. The top one. Oh, excuse me. I, I screwed up again. That's all right. They uh, swapped it. Well, there's us. so many numbers. I've got like four numbers in front of me here. If, if you uh, want to Skype in, it's 860-266-HORN. That's 266-4676. That's why you're the executive producer, isn't it? Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> On top of things. I oh, got to love tonight. Um, but seriously, we're going to try some sincere wine. Um, let's talk about sincere for a quick second, you know, kind of figure out what it is, what we think it is, uh, where it's made, why we like it, and why we don't like it. You know, uh, Paul, why don't we start with you? What do you think about sincere wine? What is it? Um. Well, basically, it's the same you got to get closer wine. to the mic, though, Paul. Paul. Paul even, Winter. Paul Winter. Not John. Even, there, there it is. is. <laughs> oh, excellent. Um, well, it's a white French wine, um, uh, basically Sauvignon Blanc. But um, Is it made from a Sauvignon Blanc grape? Yep. Mm -hmm. but, okay. Um, so, actually, what I did, because you know me with my taste comparisons, yes. what I thought I'd do was to bring a Sancerre along, but, but a Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. New Zealand, so, we so you bought an imitation a lot. Do the well, it, if you talk to New Zealanders, they wouldn't say that. What would they call it? Well, they call it the they original. call it sincere, sincere, yeah. right? So, anyway, Silly so, people. because it's exactly the same grape, but just in a slightly different climate and different soil, so it would be interesting to uh, to taste the difference, I okay? Think. Because you know, and Elliot, what are, what are your thoughts on sincere? 
Uh, for a long time, I didn't think I liked Sancerre. Every one that I had tasted all tasted the same to me. Uh, I've tasted a few very good ones, and now I'm, you know, a little bit of a French white snob. So, <laughs> you're a little Frenchy. <laughs> shall we do these? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> um, no, it's it's a great spot for Sauvignon Blanc. If you look at the map of France, mm-hmm. it's the Loire Valley mm-hmm. in the upper west corner, northwest corner. But Sancerre, as a region in the Loire, mm-hmm. is all the way to the east, so all the way up in the highlands and the in the hills. Oh, the cool climate, right? Yep, absolutely. A lot of rain. I can't speak to that. I don't know. What okay. I read, I'll, I'll say a lot of What rain. I read as well, with it tying in the English connection, because I, um, I grew up on the uh, south coast of England. You could see France, France, yep. where I grew up, right? So, so Dover, you know, the White Cliffs, mm-hmm. the uh, that. The, the chalk from the white cliffs that um you know that, that goes right through to france through the loire you know and uh so you get that chalkiness in the uh in the wine right you get that mm. yeah the different yeah. kind of flavor yeah, going on be, the, from a different topography yeah, yeah because sauvignon blanc can be basically made everywhere in the world right Brian? pretty much yeah, yeah i mean sauvignon blanc is is just kind of one of those wines that it's a white grape grows everywhere grows everywhere cool climate, climate you know right. a lot of rain or as much rain as you possibly can get for 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 a, a white grape, mm. and, uh, but uh, France, unlike Connecticut, specifically grows specific grapes where they're meant to be grown. <laughs> Except here in Connecticut, where we grow everything we can. <laughs> so, but but let me ask you a question: Why do they call it Sancerre instead of Sauvignon Blanc? Because that's the spot. It dictates a place of origin that in Sancerre, in that region, the you region. can not duplicate that climate and that soil and that terroir anywhere else in the world. Okay. It's the French. What can we say? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, Brian, we're going inter- to intersperse some music with tonight, right? Can sure. We, can we play a little music too? Sure. But uh, not not quite yet because I still haven't gotten Dave's take on what a Sancerre is or a Sauvignon Blanc or what he thinks it is. Uh, anything that is French is got to be good. Uh, I, we already, I disagree. Big, I didn't disagree we prove that, that wrong already? We, we proved did. that wrong. <laughs> See, that's why he's wearing blue instead of red. I thought I'd stir the pot. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jen, I don't know if you can grab a mic or you can come in a little bit better or, or whatever. What, what do you now? What you said, Sancerre is your favorite wine. It's my favorite French white wine. French white wine. Yeah, there's something. It's it's. At least the ones that I had are almost a little bit aromatic. They're very complex and, and dry. Okay. And there's just, I always get something a little bit different every time. Like mm. a Chardonnay is like a Chardonnay, a Chardonnay. I mean, and there's something about a Sancerre, a really good one. It's just there's a, a little bit slightly aromatic to me and just very tasty. I mean, okay. But without being very sweet. It's, mm. it's dry but very complex at the same time. I just, I love it. I just finished one the other night. <laughs> a bottle or a what glass? Not the entire bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but if I buy, I buy a nice one. If I'm gonna buy, you know, I have, hmm. I don't drink that much wine a week. So if I'm gonna, you know, I'll buy a thirty bottle do- dollar bottle of Sancerre because it's so delicious. It's such a treat. So package stores so out I'm, there, you know, the thirty dollar bottle of Sancerre is good. For me, I mean, I I just think they're delicious. So why not get, you know, a good one? Okay, so thank you. So do you got a tune that we can throw in here for the section or two? Would you like? Yeah. Um, you know, because it's the French. Do we have anything a little upbeat, a little wild? Mm. Because it's the French. <laughs> well, because we're obviously not talking, about the men now. You know I'm not talking about the men now. You know, I'm not talking about the men now. I'm talking so about the women. Not normally what I think of the French. Then. Moulin Rouge? <laughs> are we thinking Moulin Rouge or something like that? <laughs> so a little Port bourbon d'Avignon? Oh, yeah, I don't bourbons. know if we've got any of that. No. Bur- bourbon Well, if not, we can try our first wine, but I was just trying to figure out. We can... Uh, if you've got something open, give me two seconds to just flip through what I've got. Why don't we, we, open a, why don't we pour a bottle of wine here, a, Rob? A little Bourbon Street might be good. You know, I'm just saying. Well, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, Ooh. Ryan. I put Brian on the spot today. I apologize. Oh, no, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I promised today that I would be a fairly reasonable host. <laughs> I, sorry. Well, the, defined as, you know, um... I, I, I said that, that I would try to be as open minded. No, I'm always open minded. I'm always open minded. Um, poke the bear, poke the bear. <laughs> no, I, I, I you know, I said that I would be okay this show. So 
I'm going to try and be okay this show because, Tasha, you haven't called in yet, babe. The chat room is very active, though. Chat room? Nobody's talking oh, to me got, on chat room. I've got, got somebody on here named Dr. You got Crash. Dr. You got Dr. Oh, no. Crash. Oh, no. Who is Dr. Crash? Crash? We can talk over the music, right? Do Dr. Crash uh, is one of the characters. One of the, uh, one of my... One of your regulars. guys. One of my regulars, yeah. We can talk over the music, right? We can, yeah. We can listen to a little music in the background here. All right, so we are drinking a white wine from France, and let's take a look at it. Um, it's nice and cold. I got a frosty glass there. Uh, it looks almost like a Chardonnay, though. It looks kind of dark. Um, what are we thinking, guys? I was thinking paler. You were thinking pale? What I was expecting, color-wise, I was expecting a little paler. A little paler than what it is. Guys, uh... Wow, a lot of fruit in that, baby. Mm -hmm. So what are we smelling there, guys? Jenny, what are we smelling? Pardon? Well, what do you think you're smelling? Besides David. A really fine wine. Stop it. <laughs> Her children are not watching. They don't watch the show. Okay. A little bit. All right, let's turn the music down just a hair so we can just oh, talk over a little bit of it. Oh, um, there's that. But I like the music in the background. You know? Oh, yeah. Chat room, I, I, let me know if you like the music in the background or if you can hear us. You got Peach. Okay. I'm definitely grape. Grape, grape, grape. Grape, grape, grape. grape, grape peach, Paul? It's kind of mineral as, as well. I mean, the French, you know, the, uh, you've, got, you've got some tropical fruit, but it's wow. got, got mineral. This is actually a lot softer than I usually expect out of a Sancerre. Yeah. I usually I mean, expect a lot more aromatics, a lot more, well, as much as I hate the aroma, cat pee, um, I, expect, I expect a lot more <laughs> aromatics. <laughs> Um, so far in the nose, I like this a lot more than the average Sancerre because it's more subtle. It's more, it's more crisp. It's more clean. It's more mineral driven than, you know, just fruity and grassy and grapefruity. From the nose, I'm getting. I'm. I'm. I'm I could just from the nose. This is a nice glass of wine that I could sit back and drink and and enjoy without any food so far. Amen, brother. Yeah. What Which about is, you, Brian? Uh, very crisp, uh, minerally dead on. Mm. Uh, it, mm. I think it's very nice. Well, it, I like it. Isn't Sancerre though supposed to be? Like very minerally, very acidic, mm. very mm. fruity, very tanniny, very everything that you don't expect out of a Chardonnay. Right. Mm. There's a little bit of residual sugar in there though that I wasn't Ooh. expecting. Yeah, yeah. Let's try this. Yeah, yeah. On my tongue, I didn't get that until yeah, yeah. after I took a sip. What but was that? that that little bit of residual sugar kind of makes all the flavors dance for me. Somebody's saying that I haven't called. <laughs> Oh, Tasha was saying Tasha she hasn't saying. called because she's in her car. Oh, that would be a good reason not to call, Tasha. We're, we're in favor of safe driving. Mm -hmm. Right. You should be texting if you're in the car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Dryness. Yes. 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 Very yes. dry. Crisp. Um, I'm not it's, getting the crispness that I want, though. Not the, not as much as you want, because I definitely get some. Yeah, there's a little crispness there, mm -hmm. but I, I, I want a little more crispness going on yeah, in this it's, wine. It's less crisp and dry than some. It, it's there, almost so giving it's me that softer fruit. feel in the in the back palate. I mean, that's a peach, that's a peach flavor that you think we're getting? White peach or regular? Because this is to me, it's a definitely a white peach. Maybe a little green apple? I could see that, yeah. yeah. See, I could imagine having this with... Some nice cheese and apple. I forgot the cheese today. Don't, don't worry. It, it, I got no, in trouble. I no. was outside. I was outside the studio, and I said, "Guys, I forgot the cheese." <sighs> and these guys were like all over me. They they killed me out there. Sorry, sorry, but I can imagine that this would go well with that. This would also go well with a veal. Mm, mm, mm. What, what kind of veal? Because it's not going with anything red, let me tell you that right no, now. No, and it's no, not no. going I'm, with I'm, any... I'm um, thinking of a, a white sauce, like a Blanc Beurre. Milanese or... Uh, not, not even a Milanese. Uh, Ville Francaise? 
you know what I, you know, this, I got to tell you something, and, then, and this is just probably going to blow a lot of people's minds. I'd have an anchovy with that. Hmm. That works. I think the saltiness, mm -hmm. the, 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 the astringent of the, the um, anchovy mm -hmm. would, would, would make this a very nice drink. This would also go well with swordfish. Yeah, I mean, that's just me, but, you know. This would also go well with swordfish mm. without adding lemon to the swordfish. Right, because right. a lemon would right. take away from this right. thing. And, and this this is all you need with the sword. Right, so you would need to salt and pepper salt the pepper, swordfish, done. and then yep. you're, you're done. done and all nothing, set. nothing else. Not yep. even oil, nothing. No done. oil. Ellie, you look perplexed. I, well, that's just his normal look, folks. But yeah, I normally <laughs> look kind of funny, but I don't know. I, his ears are covered up, though, so he doesn't look that funny. <laughs> Anyways, Ellie, you were going to... Oh, no, he's got the stitch. He's got the stitch. No, it's pull back, night. pull it's back. <laughs> well, he's the only one wearing a real shirt here, except for you, but, Thanks. you know. I could start wearing ties and suspenders. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, you may call in and we can chastise your son. <laughs> So, Elliot, you were going to tell us yeah, your impressions I, of this wine. It leaves me wanting something more. It starts crisp, but mm. then it do, it kind of finishes flat to me. It, yeah, it doesn't follow through. Yeah, it. Like I, I like the taste because it's not as potent as I expect from a Sancerre, but it's kind of soft. It's kind of it almost washes underwhelming. Dry. Washes dry. This mm. gives me a. I know, I'm going to throw a price out on this one. This gives me an eighteen dollar Sauvignon Blanc taste uh maybe 21 bucks you know at most but this gives me a a sauvignon blanc softness which i don't really expect for a sancerre it, it doesn't really give me what i'm looking for in a sancerre it is being sincere folks it is a sancerre it's a 2010 let's show it up to the camera and see what people can you see that yeah no it's too bright is it bouncing off his head? Is that the problem? <laughs> <laughs> like all my best ideas. <laughs> well, well, you know, okay, Paul, next time you got to come in wearing the Johnny Winter wig. Okay. okay, you know, you've got the outfit on. You, you know, don't have to go with the red tints. He's my brother, you know that, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Johnny and Edgar, you know, tints. twins. No. <laughs> Just saying. You know, you got the white growth going, so that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, God. Can we move on? <laughs> Hey, it's all good fun you, here. You were going to give us your impression yeah. of this particular yeah, wine. Yeah, please do. Oh, yes. Well, I, as I bought it, um, no, I, I, I do agree. I, I think it, I think it would be, be good with oysters, actually. Mm, oysters? There we go. Good one. Good one. That, that would be good. It's, it is Amen, more, brother. Um, yeah, I, I expect a Sancerre or even a Sauvignon Blanc to be crisper and drier in it for, and to keep you, and your mouth lighter, watering. Right? And yeah. It's it's really good. It's some somewhere in between, almost I don't know, Cimelon or something. But yeah, there, there's like something added there that shouldn't be there that makes it softer. I, I think it's hundred percent. It it's is interesting. It is, and I know that wine actually. Yeah. Um, and and it it should be it should be crisper for a Sancerre, is in my opinion. I, I like it. Yeah, it, it's a nice drop of wine, yeah. but and it's it's not it's not what I expect from a Sancerre. Not that. Let's see what it, you know, let's just, ooh, ooh oh, that nice close. save, kick, Woo! drop kick and a save. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my God, Paul, you're killing me. I love you, but you're killing me. This is a Domaine Jean-Paul Balland, Sincere, 2010. What's it running for, Paul? I think that was 23. So, hey, hey, not so bad, this Chris. Is just, just, in, in m an M and R, twenty three and M and R. Sorry, Elliot. <laughs> it's okay. Well, no, actually, M and R gave me a bottle of their wine today too. So um, you know, we'll give some well, shout I outs to M and R. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> you um, know, guys. But but I got to tell you, you know, it's a twenty three dollar Sauvignon Blanc to me. Yeah. I'm right. gonna, I'm going to give it a seven out of ten for a cent here. Anybody? Anybody want to? I wouldn't argue with that. Seven point five for me. Seven point five, Jen. Liked it. Seven. Seven. I'll give you a number at the end. I want to try more. Oh, it's well, too no, 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 no. I, I don't want to try too, too early. Well, I, I, I really wanted some cheese to go with it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> if you hang on a little while, I'll give you some cheese. <laughs> you know, Elliot, what are you thinking? Um, based on the price, I'm not impressed. Okay. So I would, I would have said fifteen to eighteen. Um. I'm I'm not impressed with the twenty three dollar price point. Number six, I'm six going and a half. Six, if you're gonna six. Pick, yeah, gun to my head, six. 
Some gun to our head. So this is average between a six and a seven. It's a twenty-three dollar bottle at uh, basically M and R Liquors, uh, yep. great liquor store. Mm-hmm. Nice, you know. They, they, I got to tell you, their guys know their stuff mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to give kudos where kudos are. Oh, absolutely. Are, and you know. when when we don't have something, I send them over to see Larry, and I Larry's I hope a great vice guy. Versa. Yep. And Hal's a great guy too. You know, you got to love those guys over there. I was actually with uh, um, uh, Mr. Rosignol, who's the owner today earlier. And uh, we were talking about wines and, and good time and cars and everything else. Um, right now, that's our first bottle of wine. We're going to come back in a couple seconds because I think we need to pay some bills. We do indeed. We are, among other things, brought to you by too serious. Stop. CentralCTDental.com. Doctors Camp, Sambor, and Lupini for the serious issues or routine checkups go nowhere else. Easy to get to on the Plainville Farmington line. Call 860-747-5761 or make an appointment online at centralctdental.com. We'll be right back. Fresh, organic, and homegrown on the horn. Budwitz and Meyer Jack PC is a large Connecticut-based CPA firm with offices in Cheshire and Farmington, Connecticut. Large enough to handle engagements of enterprises with annual revenues in excess of $100 million, yet small enough to cater to smaller businesses and individual clients who expect personalized attention from partners and staff. Client service is the cornerstone of our practice. Our clients have a fixed fee for their audited tax work. What this means to the client is we're approachable. Personal communication and client services make for strong relationships. Budwitz and Meyer Jack, certified... Sanditch Travel for business and leisure. We'll take you there. Sanditch Travel has been proudly serving Connecticut since 1960. That's over 50 years. And we're ready for another 50 years of superior service. Whether you prefer to come in, call in, or log on, we invite you to explore how efficient, diverse, and fun it is to book through Sanditch Travel. Save your money and your time with us. Sanditch Travel. We'll take you there. Well, that's interesting. We have phantom music coming from somewhere else. So we'll use that as the bed. I don't care. We're also brought to you by Deepwater Seafood of Avon. Have you been to the only fish market in Farmington Valley? Deepwater is located on Route 44 and is open six days a week. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. One of the best things about Deepwater is the fish are fresh. Three deliveries daily. Oh, I know why. There we go. Brian was kind of bleeding in there. All right, we'll do this again. Deepwater Seafood of Avon. Have you been to the only fresh market fish market in Farmington Valley? Deepwater is located on Route 44 and is open six days a week, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. One of the best things about Deepwater is their fish are fresh. Three deliveries daily to meet your needs. Deepwater is has a menu, excuse me, of grilled fish items, scampi, fish and chips, soups, bisques, and chowders. For your catering needs, authentic paella, some of the best, cedar plank, salmon sides, and always the traditional New England clam bake. Deepwater also has the very best shrimp cocktail that you'll find anywhere. Call in your order at 860-676-9657, and they'll have your order ready for pickup when you arrive. Deepwater Seafood of Avon, not just for the hell of it. And we're back. Oh, no, we're not. There we are. All right, I I just got a message that the guy still can't hear us on the computers out there. Wow. That's weird. So we got to turn that up a little bit on the computers out there so that we can hear us. Okay, we're 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 cranking it up here. Just throwing it out there, just trying to be nice. Yeah. Got to okay. got to have listeners, and you know, even though Jen's not paying attention to us at all, she's on her text. You know, who are you texting, I hate Jen? When that happens. Can, we, hey, can I have your phone for a sec? Twitter. Uh, oh, I may God. not. <laughs> you may not. Jen is texting other people, and while on our show. Uh, Evan, Evan, Evan says the audio is fine. So. OMG, they have some okay. stairs on the wine cell, my favorite. Okay? That's what I was talking about. <laughs> really? <laughs> and you wouldn't let me see that. Let me tell you what I'm texting people. Oh, I'm Ooh. sorry. Ooh. Ooh. There's a little boy toy out there in Jen's life. Okay. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> <laughs> she's blushing. Uh, she's blushing. 
It's a good thing to blush. Uh, Elliot, tell us what we got here. Oh my God. Oh my God. We got an OMG. Oh my God. That's well, wild. we've got sans air. Oh, we have we we have a nose here that is completely different than the last nose. Absolutely. I mean, so t- tell me what we're doing here, L, 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 L. L. Uh, I answer to L, I guess. L. Um, this or is or ot. <laughs> e. E. This is a little. Yo, I've got a dog named E, so you know, I, uh, it's either ot or L. Yo, E Jeez. man, <laughs> get going on this now. Come on. <laughs> This is a little more what I expect from the nose of a Sancerre. A little bit more minerality, a little more crispness, a little more sort of bright and lively. Now, I just saw in the cork as I was pulling out, this is 2011 versus the 2010 that we just had. So this is obviously a little fresher, but that shouldn't make a difference with a good white wine. A good Steve white wine Martin. can last for years, years and years and years. Steve Martin, See that? some new wine fresh this year. <laughs> yeah, but I got to tell you, you know, most people expect white wines that should be drunk, you know, the year that it's made. I disagree with a great, you know, a, a well-made uh, white wine because I think white wines can last almost as long as uh, red wines. The single best bottle of white wine I ever had was eight years old. Okay. In an accident, and it was awesome. You were in an accident, and you drink drinking wine? It was an accident. I okay. wasn't oh, in an accident. What better time than in an accident? Mr. Thomas, was he in an accident? Let us know. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, I mean, because do you drink wines that are that have some age in it, Frank? Uh, I usually drink them fast. I don't buy wines to make friends. I buy them to drink them. Okay. Well, that's so. – I like, you know. I like that philosophy. That? Can sure. we use that? Because Oh, Absolutely. Okay, did everybody hear Brian? Can you say that one more time, please? Absolutely. I don't buy wines to make friends with them. I buy them to drink them. Because wine should be drunk, I think. Yeah. Right? Why, why, Absolutely. Why shelf it? Why do stuff? You bought it. You like the taste of it. It may taste better. It may taste worse. Drink it now if you like it. Drink well, it. Could have been interested in the idea. I, I bought a couple of bottles of wine a few years ago. That I mean, one has come due, quote unquote, in 2013, and the other mm. 2017. And I'm really interested to see, mm. you know. And I bought them. I assume, I mean, they would be worth a lot more, you know, now than they were when I bought them. And I'm just curious. I mean, I think red or white? They're red. They're red. Okay. You know that that they would have, you know, mellowed and aged. I'm very. I mean, I can't wait till next year so I can try. Them. And there is how, something how do you know they're going to mature when you said they're going to mature? Well, I asked the guy at. Who's the Amity guy? Amity Wine and Liquors. Can one. Amity Wine and Liquors. You live down in New Haven? Yes. I do. And you I drive live. all the way up here? I do. What are you, nuts? Yes. That's why okay. we love why her. Why the hell do you <laughs> She said hell. Sorry. Heck, 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 heck. God See, damn, you can't say hell. I didn't get a chance to talk hell. on my own show, so now I'm, you know. No FCC. It doesn't matter. Don't worry. It doesn't matter. No, I mean, seriously, I mean, so you, you bought a couple bottles to try for later on. Yeah, I, I had never done that before, and I have a, a nice cellar now, and I thought, let me just put a couple by and just see what happens. So, how how many did you like buy a, of each? Just one. I should always mm. buy two. Oh. So always buy two. If not more. Yeah, well, Interesting. depending <laughs> on who you are. First, got to make sure that you like it before you buy more. Agreed. But when you have, when you have an idea like 2017. Right. Maybe that's too young for you. Maybe that's too old for you. I mean, I I be drinking with Ron at the store all the time. He likes his wine young. He wants that red wine to punch him in the face when it comes out of the glass. <laughs> I like my wine old. I like it to be soft and yeah, smooth yeah, and yeah, subtle. So 2017 or 2013. Could Are you be dating an older woman or a younger woman? <laughs> oh, she's younger than me. She acts older. Ah. Okay, I'm just trying to figure this out. You the like older. it softer, older, oh, mellower, my. you know? I never said I like my wine like I like my women. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just checking that out. I, you know, Very funny. <laughs> I, I, I need to know this stuff. You know, you guys are my yeah. co-hosts. Paul, what are we thinking about this wine here? Oh boy, that's tough to follow, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we can't I'm have fun think. on this show, when can we have fun? You know, come on, this is all about fun. Uh, it, um, She's uh, this texting is, again, by the way. This uh-oh. is more what. Uh... <laughs> that's all I did. It's definitely Sorry. more on the nose what you would expect, you know, more minerality, chalky, you know, See, more uh, of the... This to me is like a sensier. Yeah. Yeah, my one wasn't so much. The, the, this is more classic. The, this I don't is, get the chalky... Almost, you don't get any chalkiness out of it? What's interesting is that I consider the nose to be darker than the other, than the first one. Almost woodier. 
yet it is a paler color. Yeah, kind of so like Cinderella and Fantasia, kind of like you're looking yeah. for that darker, f- fuller, crazier. Right, but when but when you taste it, yeah, it's a complete different. Mm. Mm. It's crisp. It's, it's clean. Clean. Mm. Yeah. And it I haven't really tasted it yet. So uh, I'm just, I'm, oh, I whacked the whole thing. I thought it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I thought that was awesome. He's not making friends with this one, no, that's for sure. No. No, you like to drink I, them fast, don't you? I thought, no, I thought that was very good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I don't like it. No? It's very grassy to me. Yeah. It's, it's definitely a, a metal, little grassy, but there's a metallic it's still just a baby like. amount of grass compared okay. to some others. That's the nose, though. The nose is the metallic... See, I'm getting the minerality out of it. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting actually a little earthiness. I'm getting like like lychee. I'm getting some 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 uh, very very green apple out of this. Like almost uh, yeah. Uh, there's there's a tartness. There's a tartness. You know, you know, almost like a crab apple kind of mm-hmm. taste. If you ever had a crab apple, but you know, it's not a green apple. Uh, I'm not getting any peach on this. I'm not getting any of that stuff on this. No, but there is at one point in the taste roller coaster yep. that I was just on. There was a moment of sweetness and then right. It tells you you're drinking a serious wine. Right. It was the damn I think Paul said that, you know, earlier the, when he was trying taste, to describe it. The tastes were dancing on this. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, I mean you're definitely but this wine, I don't think I'd drink too much by myself. I think I would have it with food. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, I would yeah. agree. You know, this one this wine I would have with, with dinner. Or a, or a very. Um, this too would go well with the Ville Francaise. There you go. What what is Ville Francaise? Ville Francaise is a is egg like batter. It's it's an egg batter with some lime oh. juice, squeezed in, squeezed in, and some capers. Capers, capers. capers. See yeah. the ca- the capers, capers flavor, would, man. Yeah, the, of, I'm a caper fan yeah, myself. Yeah, but shocking. <laughs> my cape is off can't you tell um we're on yet another caper <laughs> but i you know um this is a wine that that i think i would have with food um i don't think i would have it without food too much because it's got that tartness going on yeah, well, it's, it's, got mu- it's got much much brighter acidity mm-hmm. than the first one well yep. the first one had yeah. more richness this one's got brighter acidity mm-hmm. You agree with that, Paul? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it gets the mouth ready for water, uh, for food. Yeah, it, it, yeah, because you're you're almost salivating, saying, "Okay, feed me now, right?" Yeah, this right. could go with a stronger fish. This would hold up to a stronger fish. Cheese, uh, blue cheese. Oh, oh blue yeah. cheese, oh, yeah, and Danish, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. or even a smoked cheese too. I was going to say something yeah. pungent, stinky. Oh, pungent stone. Stinky, uh, I, pungent, I, sticky food. Yeah. No, Gouda is Gouda is one of my favorites. Gouda would go with this. No, that's smoky. You think smoky would go with this? Yeah, it would hold up well because of the uh, the acidity. Hmm. The uh, I gotta disagree with you there, dude. There's uh, not much I disagree with you, but you know, except for your white collar and blue shirt. But the gustavus um, non disputandum est. Don't have a pillow fight. <laughs> no, I mean seriously. I mean, what would you guys have with it? What would you eat with this? I'm gonna ask everybody around the table quickly. I Answer. Think, I, I think blue cheese. Blue cheese, Elliot. Uh, fish. I'm... What kind of fish? You can't just say fish. I'm a huge fan of rockfish and tilapia. So white fish with a little bit of richness to it works perfect. Okay, no sauce on top? Uh, I don't do sauce. It requires okay. too much energy. A nice Bra- gooey mac and cheese with like prosciutto and Ooh. broccoli, something like that. Ooh. Prosciutto and peas in there? Yeah, well, you've got you to have some. I want some salt in there with this. There's kind of. I, I just want to bounce a Ooh. bunch of different stuff off. Have you guys seen the way Brian describes food? <laughs> he's like fondling a woman. Oh, it's true. Doing it's this. true. You know, I'm, I mean, uh, you are amazing. I'm a passionate people. dude, man. You gotta love that, <laughs> Dave. What would you have this with? I'm sticking with my Ville Francaise. Jen, I'm having what Brian has. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. When Harry met Sally. When Harry met Sally. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's texting. You know, <laughs> the moaning's coming out of the text box. <laughs> 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 it's all good. Anything in the chat room talking to us? Uh, let's see. Uh, my wife says that mac and cheese sounds delicious to her. Uh, <laughs> the hand feel too? Yeah, I'm guessing yes. <laughs> and then Mike they haven't been visiting uh, me, so uh, I would wait, say we yes. Had some, we had some uh, Ron texting in saying to uh, go easy on go easy on Elliot, his wine manager. <laughs> I'm you sorry, know, Ron. You know doing, there's is, not happening. All that's doing is pouring fuel on the oh, fire. That's why, that's why I did it. 
But I gotta do. I gotta tell you, that was a sincere. What are we gonna price this out at? I would pay thirty for this. You would pay thirty, Jen. Twenty five. Twenty five, Paul. Yeah, twenty five. Twenty five to thirty. Twenty seven. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah. I'm gonna say twenty one ninety nine. Where are we at? You what do we have and what do we have? Survey says we have the domain Serge Lalou Sancerre 2011, uh, twenty four dollars on the show. Ooh, well done. I was nailed way it. off. We nailed it. That's, Pretty much. I was way off on that one. That's a good buy. Is well, it? That, well, with food, I got to tell you that yeah. you know, if you're going to go out to a restaurant or something and and have somebody prepare you a meal, or unless you're a gourmet cook like you know three quarters of this room, um, <laughs> not me that I'm saying. But, you know, you, this is a wine that I would have with dinner because I don't want it before dinner because no, I'm dry now and I'm, I'm looking for something more mm -hmm. and I eat too many appetizers. And, 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 but this is something that I would have maybe with my first course, a, good, a nice mm -hmm. garden salad with some sort of lemon or lime going on in there. You should try their Cuvée Silex. It's incredible. The best Sancerre I've ever tasted. Ron, you didn't let him bring the dose. Oh, I don't have it at the moment. A very small. We might get two cases a year. Um, and what? We don't rate? I don't have any. <laughs> well, Ron's telling me to lay off of you, and you're not bringing good wine. What do you want? <laughs> this is the best Sancerre I have in the store. <laughs> I mean, come on, Ron. Let's talk. Uh, um, Cuvée well, Silex. Cuvée. Why don't we pay some bills, and we'll get back to number three, okay. and we'll play a song or two. Okay. Sure. And then we'll hang out and have some fun. All right, I'll pay some bills. Well, I got told I got to pay some bills. We are brought to you by Gateway Financial Group, Sandits Travel, Sherpa Technologies, Budwitz and Meyerjack, Deepwater Seafood of Avon, CentralCTDental.com, and we will be right back. The Meyer Jack PC is a large Connecticut-based CPA firm with offices in Cheshire and Farmington, Connecticut. Large enough to handle engagements of enterprises with annual revenues in excess of $100 million, yet small enough to cater to smaller businesses and individual clients who expect personalized attention from partners and staff. Client service is the cornerstone of our practice. Our clients have a fixed fee for their audit and tax work. What this means to the client is we're approachable. Personal communication and client services make for strong relationships. Budwitz and Meyer Jack, certified public accountants. Sanditz Travel for business and leisure. We'll take you there. Sanditz Travel has been proudly serving Connecticut since 1960. That's over 50 years. And we're ready for another 50 years of superior service. Whether you prefer to come in, call in, or log on, we invite you to explore how efficient, diverse, and fun it is to book through Sanditz Travel. Save your money and your time with us. Sanditz Travel. We'll take you there. Fresh, organic, and homegrown on the horn. On the horn.com. We're also brought to you by Castle Casa Diana. Upscale dining and affordable prices, a local hangout where everyone is treated like family, professional, friendly staff, accommodating casual nights out, weddings, stag nights, fundraisers, and more. Casa Diana of Watertown. All right, I got my rooster back. Life is good. You know, cock a doodle doo. All right, now seriously. Oh my. <laughs> All right, well, I've been very calm tonight. I'm, I'm trying to be an adult. <laughs> I'm trying to be an adult. And so. it's very trying, I can tell. <laughs> it really, really, really is. You know, I got to tell you, you know, I. <laughs> I could rant and rave, but I, I, I'm just we know trying you not to. I'm, I'm trying to be a very good boy tonight. You, you've proven quite adept at ranting and raving. Well, I like ranting and raving. Pick a subject. And, and actually, there are people who enjoy watching you rant. I've, and got, rant. <laughs> I've got one distributors. <laughs> you know, I, uh, don't get me started on Rhode Island distributors. I'll shoot them don't all right the now. Don't poke uh, the bear. <laughs> yeah, I love Rhode Island distributors. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you poked the bear, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to get a little wild and woolly now because we're hey, now in our... Just as a quick aside, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you hear the news this morning? What news? There was a bear. Oh, that fell out of a oh, tree. Yeah. Yeah. In New Britain. And guess what? He missed the net. Missed okay, the net, whose right. fault is that? 
Whose fault did he, the, the bear? They shot the bear. Have you ever seen a video of a bear falling out of a tree where they caught it? Because every single time it either hits the floor or the ground or it hits the net and bounces out. You remember that one a few oh, years yeah. ago? That was on now, PTI every just, day for like two months. Yeah. <laughs> just as an FYI, first of all, he had really good drugs. It really didn't matter to him at that point in time. Once he had lost the ability to hold onto the tree, he really didn't care. Okay. Do you, do you know where he was, by the way? Yes. He was like a block away from the police station. Yes. That's I, I live in New Britain, and that's where it was. He's like a block away from the police station. Yeah, but okay. I, that's I the gotta, center of town. We're not talking about a really big tree either. Okay. I mean. it, was a, it was a 400 pound bear, just under 400 pounds. Okay. Let me ask the question, and this is a very dumb question. Okay. They shoot the bear with a tranquilizer dart, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Takes him an hour to fall asleep and fall out of the tree. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. If I'm going for a nap, it's going to take two minutes before I fall asleep. You know, what? What are you, you're going to shoot the bear and you're going to wait for an hour? A, and then you can't catch him? A bear? You can't run underneath well, him and go, well, hello? They didn't know when he was going to drop. So, so why not shoot him with another dart? Then you would kill him. Because the amount of drugs... Oh, you wouldn't kill him falling out of 15 feet of tree. Less likely because... Would you? You'd get hurt even. He's really loose, man. He really didn't feel a damn really thing. <laughs> Next time we have a bear nearby. Call we'll, me. We'll call my family. We'll shoot it. It'll fall immediately. <laughs> exactly. I'll we have, I'll have jerky is, two weeks later. I was going to say, it wasn't going to get back up. <laughs> I, you know, I, I just don't understand that. Yeah, I said they're going to transport him to the state forest somewhere. and he's Yeah, gonna, people's he, state forest oh, yeah, in the already. northwestern part of Connecticut. Mm. I have a friend who So he's going to become a, a near New York bear people's soon. State Forest, he's not really thrilled that they let the bear loose. That's where I ride my bike, because by the way. The the bear is right now going, oh my God, my head hurts. <laughs> what a I feel like huh? I just got up from my harbor. And he's bruised all over because he fell 15 feet. It, it, that, I'm sorry, police officer. Shoot him again and catch him. Well, uh, Put a dump know, truck under him. Do something. Part of the problem is bear skin is fairly thick. Okay? So you can't tell... So How are you, but far... that's okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> but you can't tell how far the needle is penetrated. You don't know how fast the drug is going to be releasing. But they have enough drugs in there to drop an elephant. So if you hit him with another one, but it wasn't an elephant. Jack, you did. That's my point. You can't dart him a second time because the amount of drugs that they have in one is going to be more than sufficient. It just takes time. I'm pretty sure real bullets are cheaper. <laughs> well, you know, the the ounce of lead approach that is also espoused by our friend Well, Brian. you haven't told us who you're texting yet, so when you tell us who you're texting, we, we can talk about other things than bears. you know. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All right, we, we got our third sincere here. So we're, we're pounding and, this And down. we're sincerely hoping that it's going to be better. Jen, what do you think about this one? This is your favorite. Ooh. Very nice nose. Tell me why. Slightly aromatic, do I like it? Mm. It's not too overpowering. It's dry. There's a bit of complexity in it. Like it's just it's not it's just not too much. I mean you you could drink this on its own, you could drink it with an appetizer, you could drink it with food. I, I just and I love the the, the the nose is delicious. Mm. I mean, it's really delicious. What do you? What do we? You don't. You have a tough time smelling, so I'm not gonna. I'm I know. Gonna, I'm sorry. But I'm not gonna hit it you takes up on. Takes me a little while. All right, right so you come back to that, yeah, Paul. What, Paul, what are we thinking? I'm using the royal we now. Oh, you are? No, not really. <laughs> First on the left. No. <laughs> on the it wasn't a loo. It was a we. <laughs> um. Similar to the last one in, on the nose, I, I think, but more classically mineral, you mm. know, but uh, a bit softer, I think. Definitely softer. A little softer than, than the last one? Yeah. Mm. Elliot, what are you thinking? It's got all the complexity of number two. Yeah. But it's got a little bit of the softness of number one. Exactly. Yeah. It's got bright acidity. It's making my mouth water, but it's water. got this little richness to it yep. that makes me think it's got a couple of years on it. And it's also got a little lighter, almost not fruity, but there's a hint of sweetness. Right. Well, on the nose, I get like a melon. 
Mm. Some type, there you of, go. Some yeah. type of melon. Yeah. And I, I can't like pinpoint which it is, but uh, it's it's not it's not a honey. Uh, maybe it is a honeydew. No, it's not. But a it's honeydew. something. It's something. It's something with a little tiny bit of. It's like a marshmallow. That's it's, what it is. It's, it's a marshmallow. It's actually, I think it's lychee. Hmm. Uh, has anybody Everybody had made. lychee before? Oh yeah. No. You know that Chinese. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. uh, yeah. Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. that's what I'm getting out of this one. Um, hmm. I do agree with Jen. Yeah. Uh, uh, that it's it, it can stand alone. Oh yes. Or you can use it with food. I totally agree with that. I, I, totally I really like that. this one. Uh, I even really though I bought like it myself, or I didn't really buy it, but I, I, I you know. I brought it. I brought it. <laughs> the guy, go ahead. Feeling of whetstone smell. Do you, do you ever get whetstone smell? You ever get that? Like, yes. In a sauna or without a sauna? <laughs> uh, without. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. Wait, it's morning, quite warm morning. in here. <laughs> well, we are in a sauna. Okay, everybody's wearing shorts in here except for Elliot. Now you, you buy know. a waterfall or running stream or something. So you're getting that fresh, like, uh, <laughs> is there a mossy smell? Are you getting no. a little bit of a mossy or no, earthy? No, or no? No, 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 no. Definitely sandstone. Describe sandstone, <laughs> please. Okay, that was total BS. He's so crazy. there is no sandstone going on in this puppy. Um, actually, sandstone is one of the more popular uh, populated rocks in Connecticut. Is that the one that you carve when you're in grade school? It can be. Or is that soapstone? soapstone. That's soapstone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are certain sandstones that you can actually uh, are not quite as dense. But most of your brownstone, for instance, is a sandstone. Is which is... Say, say again? Is Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm I definitely getting I heavy got an A in, in geology. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sandstone is going to have a, a, a slight saltiness to it. Okay. Frankly. But it also will have an earth aspect to it. Now that you mentioned saltiness, I am getting a little bit of uh, a saltiness out of this. Anybody else? For me, I get, See, I get more I wasn't salt. full of it. I am. You, you want to crank a tune while we're playing? We're hanging? Not anymore, you're uh, not. Nuts anymore. <laughs> are we going to flip? No, we're, yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk about the... Because we're, we're going to go to... Uh, do we, uh, do we want to reveal? First? Oh, yeah, let's yeah. reveal. Um, let's, let's do a reveal. Oh, let's price it out first. I, I Dave, already, what's I, your price I, on this one? I would definitely pay 30 for this. Okay. No question. Jen? Yep. I think I'm the same, about 25, 27. 25? Yeah, 25. 25? 25. Yeah, 29. 29, 21.99. <laughs> really? What, price is right? Yeah. <laughs> 21.99. What, what do we have there, a dollar? <laughs> Showcase showdown, baby. <laughs> oh, the winner is, so far for Sensiers, yeah. It's a sincere. If I could read the label, life would be good. Henri Bourgeois. Henri Bourgeois. Henri Bourgeois Vineyards. This is a 2010 sincere. You want to put it to the camera so they can people can see it if they can read it. Uh, mm, this came out pricey. of M&R Package Stores, by the way. Um, it's it's a nice little uh, sincere that, that I've had before. Um, it was recommended to me, uh, again, because I was looking for sinceres, and there's only like five or six sinceres on, on any shelf, mm, you yeah. know, in any package store. Right. And uh, so when you find one that that you like, you tend to stick with it. But I think this one's a winner uh, for I me. Like I, I preference is the second one for me. Your preference yeah. is the second one. So yeah. was, you like the crisper? Yeah, more... I did. I did. I thought that was delicious. You saw how fast I drank that thing. Well, you just <laughs> I whacked it. He pounded really it quick, like you pounded. Yeah, I really like that a lot. So these are the sincere's, the, the true sincere's. So let's figure out. Okay, number one, two, or three. One being the best, three not being... No, which no one pick which wine did you like? One, two, or three? Okay, three. Three. Jen? Three. Three. Paul? Two by a nose. Two by a nose. <laughs> Elliot? I'm going to stick with two. I'm going to go with three uh, just because it was easier drinking for me. Brian? Oh, two. 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 Definitely two. So we're two. split right down in the middle. Yeah. So th this is interesting because we're, now we're going to come back on the second... There, and Brian show if he allows us. Oh, yeah. uh, we're going to play some music and we're going to try some imitation sensors. So, okay. so different sensors. So we're going we're to try and figure out what's best or, you know, whether the imitations are as good as the non imitations. And we'll try and figure out what happens there. What we're going to do. Uh, what are we going to do? Is we're going to hit the rooster very briefly. Yeah. yeah. So that I can uh, take care of the recording and then start up and immediately. Start mine. Okay. Yep. Just okay. tell me one. So, uh, we're thank you very much, guys. And we'll say goodbye after the show. We'll go, uh, Brian we'll and I will both say goodbye. Yeah, we'll yeah. say goodbye together. Is that yeah. all right with you, Brian? Works with me. Is that all right? Are you sure? Always. Okay. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, we have been listening to Wine Talk and Food. We're brought to you by Gateway Financial Group, Sanders Travel, Sherbert Technologies, Budwitz and Meyer Jack, Deepwater Seafood of Avon, and CentralCTDental.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> 